Hello my creative viewers. In this video, I will show you how you can start programming in Python. I will assume that you have no previous knowledge of programming and you are going to learn Python from the very beginning. Why you want to learn Python? I don't want to answer this question because I think you have clicked on this video because you have the eagerness of learning the programming language Python. You know, in which case we can use this programming language, which companies are using this programming language for the development of their websites and services. So let's don't waste our time and dig in. Firstly, we have to download the software Python 3. For this purpose, you have to open your favorite browser and write on Google something like download Python and hit enter. You will find a list of link and click on the very first link. You will go to a website named www.python.org and you will find a download button just like here. Single click there. And you have to download the Python in a selected folder. I am selecting my downloads folder. Then clicking on the save button. Okay, my program is downloading. It will take a little bit time until then, I am pausing my video. Okay, our software is downloaded. Then the next thing is, we have to download an editor in where we'll write our first Python program. For this purpose, go to the address bar of your browser and write something like download atom and then hit enter you will find a list of link and click on the very beginning link you will find a website something like atom.io and in this website you will find a button something like download and single click there save the software at the same place where you have download the Python software. Okay, this will take time a little bit because the size of the file is 137 megabyte. It will take time until then I am pausing my video. Okay, our editor is downloaded. So what we have to do right now, we have to install our downloaded software and to launch our very first Python programming. I want to say you that in this video, I will just show you how you can start programming in Python. I will cover the next step in my upcoming videos gradually. In this video, I will just show you which softwares you require for running the first Python program to write Hello World to your editor and how to run the very first program. So let's dig in again. Firstly, go to the downloads folder and let's install our downloaded software. For installing the software Python, I have to double click on the file. Then look here. Here is a dialog box. In this dialog box, you have to check this little box at Python 3.7 to path. Then hit on the install now button. Click yes and it will take time to install to your system. Okay. Our program is installing to our system. 
It will take a little bit time. Don't worry. It is very simple. Now, setup is successful. Click the close button from here. Now we have to install another software which one is the editor, the Atom. For this, I am double clicking my file. Okay? It will also take time, but it is a one way process for installing the software and it is really very much easy. You just have to double click the software, then it will start to install. Okay? I was just double clicked the software and it, it is installing now. Okay, Atom is installed and it is ran automatically. I have written a Python program previously so I have to close this. Look here, if you install Python for the first time, then your look of the software will not match just like my look. Don't worry, you can make your look just like me if you try a little bit. Then what I have to do? I have to open a program named Windows PowerShell. W-I-N-D-O-W-S-P-O-W-E-R. Then you will find Windows PowerShell. In this Windows PowerShell, we will see the result of our program. Then what we have to do? We have to write our first Hello World program. For this, go to the Atom and click on File. Then click on New File. Then go to File again and click on Save As. Then what I will do? I will go to a folder named Documents folder and look here. I am creating a new folder here named capital PY PY. Then I am going inside my new folder named PY and writing the name of my program as a I R S T first dot I need an extension name for Python program something like PY it is mandatory to write dot PY now I am clicking on my save button it is already saved now what I have to do I have to write my first program so what I am writing here P-R-I-N-T, print, which means I am going to print something on my output. So I will write and I will write a string for the first time. Hey, we are here for Python. Okay. Then I am writing another line here, something like print hello world. I am going to be a programmer. Yeah. Now what I have to do? I have to save this file again in the same location. Then I have to run my program in my PowerShell. How I can do that? For running the program in my PowerShell, I have to go to my folder where I have saved this. Look here. My directory is, look here. My directory is C backslash users, backslash shadhan parma, backslash documents, backslash pi, backslash first dot vy. So what I have to do? I have to change my directory to documents. These all are similar than from shadhan parma or from, look here, 
here is my name, but it will it can be or it will be different for you. So I am changing my directory to documents. How I can do that? I am writing a keyword here, something like CD. CD means change directory. And I am writing here D O C U M E N T S. Be careful about the spelling. Pressing enter, look here. I am already in the documents folder. And writing here again CD, capital PY for digging in my py folder and i am now already in the py folder now i have to run my program how i can do that firstly i have to write a keyword something like python python keyword will not be understood if you don't install the python software in your system i have already installed the python software or python interpreter in my system and Windows PowerShell will understand what does it mean by the keyword Python. Now I am writing here if I already stay first dot py and pressing enter. Look here, yes, here is the output. Hey, we are here for Python. Hello world, I am going to be a programmer. What I have written here, here is the output. This is the this is my output. Look here, I have written here print and a pair of parentheses, but there print is not printed here and parentheses is disappeared here. So if you want to print something in Python programming in your output, then you have to write the function print and in between parentheses, you have to write the thing what you want to see in your output. This is a string here. That's why I have put it into a pair of inverted commas. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then comment below and share with your friend.